Premier. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, you have, uh, you have all heard me say that diversity is our greatest strength in Ontario. I believe that. I believe it to be true. Comprendre to understand, to respect, and to celebrate our differences is the foundation of our inclusive society and all the values you, we share. Core. But it is not enough to just say it. We all have to make decisions with that belief in our hearts and in our minds. Sometimes life in a diverse society is uncomfortable. And that is exactly when it is even more important that we work to understand each other. Religious freedom is part of our identity. Forcing people to show their faces when they ride the bus, banning women from wearing a niqab when they pick up a book from the library will only divide us. Every one of us should be able to live our lives and go about our days and practice what we believe without discrimination and without fear. This is the kind of action that drives wedges in communities. It is not acceptable to me, and it should not be acceptable to any of us. We have a very close working relationship with Quebec, but on this issue, we fundamentally do not agree. This legislation would disproportionately affect women who are sometimes already at the margins and push them into further isolation. These are people that you and I know. They are our neighbours. The grandmother, who, if she lived in Quebec, would no longer be able to drop off her granddaughter at a city-run daycare, or a mother who would not be able to bring her children to a hospital to see the doctor. That is not the kind of society that we stand for in Ontario. Just this morning, I put out a statement, Mr. Speaker, inviting Amazon to take a good, long look at Ontario to take a hard look at us as a place that they might want to bring their business. Because at a time when others are becoming more insular, unable or unwilling to attract the world's brightest and best, we are unwavering in our commitment to build a place that the whole world can call home. That's the kind of community, that's the kind of province, and that's the kind of world that I believe in. We have and will continue to grapple with the tough questions that come with diversity. It's not always easy, but that's what makes it important. If we believe that difference is actually our strength, then we do the work to understand each other and not just tolerate each other, but love each other because of our differences. But if we approach those questions with empathy and an open mind, I know that we can get it right. That is what we have done through our history, and that is what we should do going forward. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.